47, a double digit. That's one you never see. You never see stars name their kids fucking a double digit number. Jason, yeah, and we're gonna look at uh, the Raid series, The Escape from Tarkov. Um, I never heard of this until today. Uh, I, I didn't know what it was, I should say, so I guess it's some live action role playing stuff. It's not weird on Jesus the internet, Christ. but uh, yeah. What's up, everybody? I'm Triple Six Lily. And uh, we're going to be watching the Escape from Tarkov series, the live action raid from episode one. We've had a lot of suggestions to watch this, so we're going to check it out today. We're going to talk about some of the action, and I guess there's some pretty good shooting scenes, so uh, let's roll into that. We need some. We need some translation. Okay. After this, we're gonna drink some vodka, boys. <laughs> it, for all I know, like I love how there's the the uh, the, st the stock stuff and the uh, everything up on the fucking upper left corner. Yeah. What? So now what they're going. going in, there's like a briefing prior to. What do you mean you want to leave me, babe? <laughs> They're, they're in brief here. See, I would like actually a little bit of the uh, translation from the Cyrillic. The cinematography's dope. Yeah, uh, this is really well done. That's one thing is... Uh, now, I'm not entirely sure. Make sure you guys comment below and let us know because I, I haven't done a ton of research into this and I don't know if... I, I've been told that the people that made obviously Escape from Tarkov and stuff or were involved in this, but um, I'm wondering if it's the same company that made the game, because this is really well done. The cinematography is great. I mean, clearly they've got all this equipment, all these vehicles. I mean, there was some money that was put into this, so. Um, there's three episodes, I believe. Hmm. So. So far, so good. That guy's hungry as fuck. <laughs> potatoes, potatoes, where? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Freaking Durka Durka Muhammad Jihad Durka. Oof. Definitely very Tarkovish. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, scavenging for the gear. <laughs> Rope, yeah. scope. Some sort of like, yeah, night vision. Dude, was that one of those combat bars? Did you see that? That was like an MRE combat bar. He's about to get shot. Those things are the worst. Yeah, he's about to get waylaid. Oh. Nice. Minus. On this I just killed the scavenger. Пока чисто. Oof. You see his eye flinch? Yeah. He's not dead yet. This is pretty dope, though. It's really well done. I, although, again, I would like to see some subtitles here, because I don't, I don't, I don't freaking abla the uh, Russian language. I do find it very funny that uh, the Russians... You know, they act like they hate us, but they're dressed just like American special operators. Oh, yeah, they, I mean. So the baseball hat was made in America, and. The flag on it. Dude, they got the Velcro. Yeah. Like, come on, create something else. Oh. What the fuck? Dude, is this zombie shit? You scared? Yeah. Dude, I don't like zombies, man. <laughs> fuck that shit. Uh, dude, I, I'm an 80s kid, man. I grew up on all the fucking. Same. All those movies. That one dude actually looks familiar. Like I've seen him in another movie. Him. Brokeback Mountain. Oh, he's gone. 
So what the fuck? Steve, I thought you he's shot like, him in the face. He's like, Das Vidanya, don't get any on you, man. I did shoot him in the face. Contact, contact. Nice. Now, nothing in the Escape from Tarkov stuff is there zombies, right? In the gameplay? No. Yeah, I don't think so. It's just a flesh wound. Oh, is it the, it's the dude in that fucking... It's but the flesh wound. Are they talking to that, that guy there? E... Yes, it's throwing out a little screw. Oh, no. Grenade. Why? I'm not sure. Oh! It's the zombie dude again? I'm good, it's just a flesh wound. Uh oh. Frickin' tourniquet. I love all the frickin' Russian Renorex just all over the place. Crappy old cars. Uh oh. That's a group. Throw a grenade right in the middle of that shit. He did say Steve. <laughs> Steve Bean, get up. <laughs> it's Bond. Steve Bean. Steve Bond. Steve Bean. <laughs> this is. Dude, I the, mean, yeah. action wise, is really well done. The bullets fucking skipping off shit. That's that looks pretty good. It fucking sounds good. Yep, I'm dragging you, bro. Little knee shooting. Sucks. Yeah. Transition to the right shoulder. I like it. Oof. Dude, fuck being out there in the open. <laughs> Talk less, move more, man. Holy hell. These guys are not great at cover, though. No. Like, they're they're not they're not working any angles that are helping them for sure. I mean, anybody too that thinks hiding behind a car is going to stop any of these rounds is fooling themselves. A 7.62 round is going to punch from one end of that car to the other. Guaranteed. I mean, and I'm not talking about going through the engine block, but if a round comes through that hood, it'll go all the way through everything else and come off the freaking trunk like you're not hiding behind anything. This dude's like, I'll hide behind this aluminum door. Yeah, I mean, this is just done really well. I don't... I, I, I might do a little bit more research into, like, the production and how this all worked. Oh, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Probably. What? Did he just throw his gun? Well, there you go now. You've got nothing. Steve's got his life. Those are real rounds. Through the windows. Oh. Man, you see that the, the, the one? Have you seen that one thing that the one guy's got on the, the sniper dude, kind of with the hood? That's got the uh, little loops into it. They make the, those. They're like those little sniper smocks or whatever they called. Yeah, those things are. Uh, it's pretty cool. Breaks up the head outline at least. Yep. Yep. This is, this is very like. That's a lot of fucking. Cool guy wow. gear intense too. Like all the stuff that like these these rifles are all just outfitted with every freaking piece of flair in the in the gun market, which is amusing. Buddy, you wouldn't be on your sidearm if you didn't throw your freaking rifle away. Like, why? <laughs> Oh. That was 
was a very slow moving art. Yeah, that was a little Hollywood. That was a little Hollywood. Uh, the explosion would have been three times the size of that. It's saving Private Ryan Ring <laughs> to the ear. Yeah. Dude, but you had your Peltors on. You should be able to hear. Do it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dude. That's in English. Yeah, I know. Okay, what do you think? Pretty cool, well done. Yeah, well done, well freaking, uh, well put together, pretty realistic. I mean, they're fairly realistic. I mean, yeah. again, a little bit too much flair on their weapons and... Uh, I mean, it looked a little better than a lot of Amer some American military movies I've military movie yeah. ever seen. Yeah. It was actually pretty for good. Sure. Especially for being such a short thing, you know, being a little 10, 11 minute clip, it's, it's done pretty well. So, I, I liked it. Good action and uh, highly recommended. I think it was cool. Very entertaining. What'd you guys think about it? Let us know. Here you go. Hey, make sure you guys follow uh, Savage Actual, subscribe, do all that stuff. Make sure you check out our socials. Go to Savage Actual on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a lot of other content on there that you don't see here on the YouTube platform. And thanks for hanging out. I do have a question though. How many guns up would you do for this? I'm gonna give Escape from Tarkov Raid two guns up. I'm gonna do three. Three guns up. That was never a thing, but okay, I'm thing. I got a I got a toe. If I lost my arms, I could still use this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> All right. It was good. Alright. Thanks guys.